Chinese, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I literally and I totally forgot to do an intro to this video so I have like a new setup, new background and all that but here it is, here we go. So today I'm coming to you guys with my curly hair or updated wash and go routine. I switched up a few of my products especially since I cut my hair. My hair has just been a little bit different. I don't use as much products as in my last video because I know a lot of you guys were like oh my gosh so many products. I know because my hair really just needed a lot of moisture and I feel like ever since I cut it it's totally the opposite I can use less products and my hair just feels so much lighter it looks more moisturized the shine is a one like it's everything y'all it is everything so I'm so freaking in love and hopefully you guys enjoy this video as well if you do like my videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up button and I will see you guys all in the next video I love y'all Deuces. Hey guys, so to start off, I did use the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Shampoo and then I quickly deep conditioned in the shower with the Shea Moisture Rehydration Treatment Mask and then I also left in a little bit of the Daily Hydration Conditioner. So this is my hair straight out the shower. As you can see, my hair is wet, my neck is wet. So yeah, I like to work with really, really damp hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is section my hair off into small sections. So I'm starting off with this back section right here and the first thing I'm doing is using my 360 spray. If you are a natural, you need this. I literally just hopped on the bandwagon and I'm spritzing the hell out of my hair. And the next thing I'm gonna do is detangle with the Demon brush and this is gonna help smooth out my hair and it's also gonna obviously take away all of the knots. So the first product I'll be using is the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence and honestly at first I was not a fan of this product until I actually went to the hair stylist and she used this as a leave-in for me and it worked amazing so I thought I would try it again. And from getting my last cut I seen how the hair stylist worked the product into my hair and she really raked it through kind of like pulling on each curl and that really helped to clump my curls together so that's exactly what I'm doing here. So the next product I'll be using is the Texture ID Styling Cream and I literally just came across this product and I love it so much. But anyways, I take a little bit of that and then I apply also the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and I mix those two together. And then you can also see that I'm spraying the water onto my hands just to sort of mix the product together and I just literally get the best combo with this. My hair feels amazing. It's literally like it smooths out my hair. It clumps my curls together. I love this combo, it's super, super bomb. So what I love about the Texture ID is that it's really thick and creamy. It contains cocoa butter, shea butter, safflower oil, coconut oil, and I've seen so many different textures from thick to coarse to curly use this, and a lot of people really, really like it, so. I thought I would try it myself and I absolutely love this product. So I'm just gonna keep raking that throughout my hair until I'm happy with my results and happy with the way my curls look and how they clump together and then we move on to the next section. So again, I'm just parting my hair off into smaller size sections, which is super important and then I'm spritzing that section with water, making sure that it's super damp and then I'm going to detangle it with my Denman brush and apply a little bit of the leave-in, work that through and then I'm gonna detangle again and this helps to clump my curls together. And then apply a little bit of the Texture ID as well as the Ultra Defining Gel by Diva Curl. Add a little bit of water to my fingers and mix the product together. And then really rake that through and work it into my hair strands. And also I wanna let you guys know that I do add a little bit more product if I think I need to. So just keep that in mind. As you can see, I just added a little bit more product there to get my roots and then I worked it in again. It really depends on the look that you're going for and if your hair does not look good prior to it drying, it's not gonna look good, period. So you gotta make sure you have that you know, technique down and you have the look that you want down. So as you can see, I'm super happy with how it looks and I'm gonna move on to the next section. So honestly, this is super repetitive. Um, I literally do the same exact thing, so I'm just gonna play some music and you guys can just stay tuned.
as you can see, I'm kind of laying down my edges and this just helps to prevent frizz and to keep it nice and smooth. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. And honestly, working in sections can be so annoying and so tiring, but you get the best results and it's definitely worth it. Okay, so this last section I want to show you guys up close exactly what I'm doing again. So again, I'm spritzing my hair with water and then I'm detangling my hair. And as you can see, it kind of like clumps my curls together. And then I'm applying a little bit of the Diva Curl Decadence Leave-In Conditioner until my hair is nice and smooth. And this also helps to give me shine. It also clumps my curls together, which is what I'm looking for in any type of product. And then again, I'm going in with a little bit of the Texture ID Styling Cream and adding a little bit of the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. And then spritzing my hands with some water, working that in, and then just raking my hands through my hair. So once I'm done raking my hands through my hair, this is how my hair looks. As you can see, my curls are sort of formed together in the way that they want to but it's really nice and smooth and you can barely see any frizz. Okay, so at the end of this all, I do like to spritz my hair again with water and then I pretty much add a little bit of the styling cream and a little bit of the ultra defining gel and this sort of just, I don't know, it sort of just brings my curls together all in you know one form instead of having like the different sections. So with my new cut, I don't really like to have any particular part, so I'm just kind of brushing my hair back, smoothing it out, so um, I don't have any defined part. And then I'm putting on my satin headband, and this is gonna help keep my roots smooth because my roots tend to frizz up, and I hate that. So yeah, this is gonna help keep it laid. So the next step for me is just to air dry for about 20 minutes. So I did my makeup, and this is gonna help to kind of form the curl before I blow dry or before I diffuse, because um, if I diffuse right away, my hair will frizz up. So I'm using the Dyson Supersonic to diffuse my hair, and this is a new part in my routine. I never used to diffuse my hair because it always made my hair super frizzy until I came across this hair dryer, and it is freaking amazing. It cuts my time down in half. It literally dries my hair in about 20 to 30 minutes. It gives me a lot of volume without any frizz, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's bomb and well worth the $400. So yeah, I'm just gonna diffuse my hair, I guess until it's about 90 to 100% dry, flip my head over, sideways, all of that, until I'm happy with my results. And then I'm gonna slip off this headband, and as you can see, my roots are nice and smooth. And then these are the results. My hair is still a little bit wet, but my hair is super shiny, super moisturized, really, really defined, and this is probably gonna last me about five days, so really in love with my curls and my new wash and go routine so yeah let me know what you guys think down below anyways guys that wraps up today's video again don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned for my next video